Hi, folks. Welcome to our exciting session on transforming data analysis with Copilot in Excel. Uh, my name's Avani. I'm a product manager on the Excel team, and I'm joined here by Carlos, who's also on the team, and Thajus from KPMG, who's going to tell a customer success story at the end. So let's get started. So we all know data analysis is critical for our businesses, but it can be challenging. It can be time consuming to have to create and prepare your data. It can require specific knowledge to conduct an analysis, and it can be painful to have to iterate on that analysis. Copilot is here to help you overcome those obstacles and transform your data analysis process. And it's here for people who are using Excel every day for their business needs, what we call data professionals. Now, this includes people across industries and roles, from sales reps to financial analysts to operation leads, just people who work in dynamic business environments where it's important to manage, communicate, and organize your data effectively. So we're going to walk through three different topics today. We're going to walk through how you can create and prepare your data using Copilot, how you can gain insights using natural language, and how you can do deeper analysis with Python. And throughout this process, we're going to highlight some new and upcoming features, and we'll show you how to use Copilot in a secure way. So tables have been around for centuries, probably because they're an effective way to organize your data. And many people are using Excel just for that, organizing information. They might be tracking budgets, managing project plans, looking at sales data, anything like that. And creating and structuring information is a critical need for data professionals. People might be using Excel every day to pull data from multiple locations, but you can use Copilot to actually do that with ease. Let's take a look at a demo. So when you get started in a new spreadsheet, you can easily select Copilot on the grid to get started. And let's take an example scenario here. Let's pretend I'm the sales lead in the fashion industry. After a well-spent year, I want to reward my team with an annual bonus. And it's been a great year. They've worked hard, and I really want to reward them as much as possible. So let's ask Copilot using natural language to build a template for me to help get started. Now it's just creating a table here. And you can see just now <laughs> that that table was actually created. And it's got three columns there that are relevant to my analysis, the store name, the salesperson name, and the total sales. Now, I actually want to highlight some information that's important in that template. I want to highlight the total sales so that I can easily identify who had the highest sales. So I'm going to ask Copilot to actually apply a color scale to that column, and you can see it did that easily. Now, this is a fully conversational experience. You can actually refine and iterate on your ask to Copilot, and you can see that the suggestion pills down below actually are contextual to that template that's being created. Now, we're going to keep that, and we're going to insert it into the spreadsheet. And let's actually pull in my real data. Now, I have, a, I have a file stored somewhere with our global 2024 sales information, but I actually don't remember the name of that file. So let's see if Copilot can find that file for me. I'm just going to describe the file to Copilot and see if it can fetch that for me. Now, when it's enabled at your company, Copilot can actually search through your enterprise files and information and be able to leverage that in Excel. And we're looking for that file here. We can see those updates, and we found the file. Now, this is great. And also, I can actually preview that file before I import the table into my data, just to make sure it's the right information I'm looking for. And taking a look there, I can see that that is the correct table. So I'm going to import that into a new sheet. Now, this import is actually powered by Power Query, which makes it a refreshable active connection to that original document. So any changes that you make to your original data set will actually be made in this spreadsheet, too. Now, I only need the first three columns of that data, so I'm going to pull that store name, salesperson name, and total sales and copy that into the original file. And you can see when we copy that here, that conditional formatting actually applies to that whole total sales column, and I can see at a glance who had the highest sales. Now, I want to pull some additional store information into this spreadsheet. I want to pull the country that the store is located in and whether or not there's a budget left to pull the bonus from from that store. So I actually know the name of this file. I'm going to actually at mention the file by using a forward slash and the file name. And we can see that we're able to find that file quickly, and it's the same process as before. We're able to preview that table and import it using that Power Query import. And we'll import that into a new sheet. 
and it's creating that live connection, and here it is. Great, so I've got these two tables now. I actually want to pull those two columns, that country column and that budget availability column, into this spreadsheet, but I don't want to have to figure out the details of the formula myself. I'm actually going to ask Copilot to generate those formulas for me. And look at that. It's able to generate two XLOOKUP formulas and re reference that other uh, tab in this document and pull that data into the working sheet. This is great. Now I've got most of the information I need to calculate that, that uh, bonus. But I was just talking to the finance team, and the finance team was telling me that bonuses are usually allocated in the original currency of that country. But the finance team needs that data in US dollars. So I want to actually look on the web and see if I can find up-to-date exchange information for that country to US dollars. And when it's enabled at your, when it's enabled at your company, uh, Copilot can actually search the web, too. And we see we found that up-to-date exchange information, and we can add that as a table to a new sheet in this workbook. So now we've got all our information. Let's do that final step. Let's actually calculate that bonus. So I want Copilot to actually calculate if there's a bonus available, uh, I want to give a 10% bonus of the total sales to that sales rep, and I want it to translate into US dollars. So let's see if it's able to do that in one step. And we see that it's able to generate that formula in just one step. Now, not only does it generate that formula, but you don't have to take Copilot's word for it. You can hover over that Insert Column button and see that formula executing in the grid. Now, that gives you like a gut check to see if that formula is what you were looking for. And it's what I'm looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that column into the document right now. <laughs> Now I have all the information I need, and it's so much quicker to do this in Copilot. You don't have to leave the document. You don't have to go look for all those files and figure out where everything is. Now let's move on to how you can get insights from text data in Copilot. Now, data-driven decision-making has become popular over the last couple of years, so much so that we've seen people across industries and roles wanting to become steeped in their company's data so they can help make data-driven data -driven decisions. However, we know that people don't often have the time to become a spreadsheet specialist or don't often have the time to have to sift through all that data themselves. And while they're comfortable in Excel, they might worry they're missing key insights. Copilot's here to be an Excel expert that help you unlock insights. So let's take an example of a company in the hospitality industry. This company owns a large Japanese restaurant chain that operates globally. And my role as the general manager is to make sure that we increase revenue and we improve customer satisfaction. And I need to do that by analyzing customer feedback that the team sends me. So each month, the sales department sends me a revenue data sheet like this. Uh, it contains month-to-month -month revenue over time. Um, I also have access to feedback from our customers. And you can tell there's tons of feedback in here. I just got another report from my customer success team that added 300 rows to this spreadsheet, which now has like 3,000 rows of customer feedback. And you can see it's in multiple languages, a lot of which I don't even comprehend. So we have that really full data set here that we can analyze. But let's go back to the revenue sheet. And let's see if Copilot can give us an initial insight on this revenue, just by asking it, plain and simple, uh, show me some insights on my revenue. And it's going to look over that data, and it gave me a chart. And just by looking at this chart, I can see in the last couple of months, there seems to be a decline in the revenue. Now, it was just that simple. I just asked Copilot for some insights, and I was able to get that really important insight that the revenue is declining over the last few months. Now, in order to figure out why the revenue has been declining over the last couple of months, we should go back in the customer feedback and see what the customers have been saying. Now, before, I might have had to take days, weeks even, to look through all of that customer data, have to translate it, have to figure out the topics and the themes. But now, with text analysis, I'm able to do that easily. So let's ask Copilot for a summary. What are the main topics in this feedback? Now, it's going to look through all the text for different topics and summarize them back to me easily. And we can see here that it just gave me the five topics from all of that data. And not only that, it actually shows me references to specific examples for each of those topics, so I don't have to take the word for it. I can actually go back and not have to sift through the data to look for those examples. But that's not all. Copilot can go beyond that and do a full theme analysis. Now, a full theme analysis is when we're looking through all those thousands of records of data, and we're looking for the main issues that customers are talking about in the feedback. 
to help me understand which ones are occurring and which ones are trending. So let's go ahead and see that. So we select that option to run that full theme analysis, and Copilot is able to search through all of that data and actually summarize what those themes are. Now, this is, this is great. Before, I'd have to, again, do hours of work, maybe days of work, to have to go through and figure out what those themes are and where they go. And now I can just simply add that to a sheet after Copilot summarized it for me. And after adding it to a sheet, this is great because I can uh, sort and filter and visualize that data easily afterwards. Now, let's kind of take a step back and go in a different direction. Uh, the most important thing about my company is understanding customer feedback. I want to understand how customers are feeling about the company, specifically their sentiment, whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. Let's see if Copilot can help me perform a sentiment analysis on all of the customer feedback that we have. So we're going to ask Copilot to just run that sentiment analysis. And we're able to see that it summarizes the positive, negative, and neutral sentiments. And it's the same as before. We have the ability to add that to our sheet as a new column, so we can sort, filter, visualize it. And we can just simply add that to the sheet. Great. OK, now I have the themes and I have the sentiment. So let's combine what we know about both of them and ask Copilot to add them up over time. It quickly generates that table that I'm going to add into a new sheet in this workbook. So now that I have the numbers for both theme and sentiment, I can look for theme patterns in my customer feedback. Copilot can give me a chart visualizing the feedback for each of the topic areas. So just by looking at this, I'm able to say, hey, people who are leaving positive feedback are commenting on the overall experience, but people who are leaving negative feedback are actually commenting on service quality. But that's not enough. Let's see if we can continue to investigate why there's been a decline in revenue. Let's ask for some themes over time. And Copilot, we'll do that in just a second. Yeah, we're going to ask for the topic themes over time. And you can see that it quickly generates a chart for you here. We're going to add it to a new sheet in that workbook. And just taking a look at this, it looks like that service quality feedback has increased in the last couple of months. So that directly correlates to our revenue decline. So with all of that in mind, let's go back to that customer feedback and just look at the ones where the theme is service quality. So we've just, got, we've just sorted for that data here. And let's ask Copilot for some specific concrete ways that we can improve the service quality feedback. And it's going to summarize those reviews and give us some specific examples and insights on how we can improve on that service quality feedback. And it does the same thing where it references into the data so you can see where the examples are coming from. Now, again, this has saved so much time. We've seen how it's easy to go directly from your data to actionable insights. And I can actually take this feedback to my restaurant managers and go and action upon it. So overall, you can see how um, Copilot can save you time using text analysis. Now, I'm going to transition over to Carlos, who's going to talk about deeper insights with Python. Thank you, Avani. I am so excited about having proper text analytics in Excel. I'm definitely going to be using that to analyze all the feedback that you send our way. Um, hi, everyone. I'm super excited to be here. I am uh, honored to be representing the Excel team, and I'm thankful that you're uh, choosing to spend some time with us today. Uh, if you were paying any attention on Monday during Satya's keynote, uh, you would have gotten a little bit of a glimpse as to what I'm going to show uh, today. Um, but I, want, I need some help from the room, actually, to make sure I'm not hallucinating, because I'm pretty sure during the keynote, Satya said that the one thing that he's most excited about, everything you've seen this week, is the stuff we're doing in Copilot in Excel. Is that right? Avani, see some nods? Kayer, see some nods? All right. So to walk you through why Satya is so excited about what we're doing here uh, with Excel and Copilot, let's wade a little bit deeper into the world of uh, advanced analytics with Copilot in Excel. Now, before I do that, I absolutely need to take this opportunity and this chance to step back and acknowledge and celebrate that Excel turned 40 earlier this year. That is likely older than a lot of folks here in this room. Um, I myself have been in the Excel, Excel team for a while now, and I know that every year, right around the Excel anniversary time, there's a lot of conversations that spring up in social media and the news exploring the staying power of Excel. Some predicting its demise, but most actually celebrating this love story uh, and love affair that, that hundreds of millions of users have across the world on all industries. 
And one of the, one of the hypotheses I have about why it has continued to remain as loved, as relevant, and as used is that, is that it has continued to evolve, becoming more flexible and more powerful over the years. And there's two particular examples, some, two recent innovations that I want to highlight today uh, that, are, that are examples of this, but also, uh, also are, are show how we're continuing to push the boundaries of what it means to be a spreadsheet. The first one is the evolution of the formula language, which, as Satya points out here in this tweet, is indeed the world's most popular programming language. Satya is really excited about Excel. Uh, maybe a little bit too much, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a good problem to have. Uh, so with innovations such as Lambdas, uh, Excel now essentially can compute any, any calculation directly in the Excel grid, therefore being Turing complete. The second innovation I want to talk about is the introduction of Python in Excel to the Excel grid, which brings the world of Python analytics directly into the hands of hundreds of millions of Excel users. Let's talk about formulas for a second. In addition to lambdas, which bring, enable, enables reusable custom functions making complex formulas more modular and re reusable, so reducing complexity in Excel, we now have things like dynamic arrays, which simplify using more complex input and output, such as arrays. In addition to that, we're continuing to add new functions, new syntax, new capabilities that take advantage of these two building blocks. Functions like let and xlookup and pivot by and group by and filter and sort by and text split and more and more and more. We're going to continue to push there. But my key point here is that um, even if you are an Excel, uh, even if you were an Excel expert five years ago, there's a whole set of outcomes, patterns, and best practices that are possible today that would have been nearly impossible five years ago. That's how much the formula language has evolved. Now, the good news is that you don't have to become an expert. Right now, we have incredibly powerful AI, and we have Copilot that can be right there next to you, helping you unlock the value of Excel. Uh, not just for formulas, for pivot tables, for charts, and the rest of the Excel platform. One example that I love, and Avani kind of talked about this earlier, I just love that you can use Copilot to help you create an XLOOKUP. This function didn't exist a few years ago. In this case, I'm using it to fetch some data from a different sheet and bring it into my analysis in the table I'm looking at, and it inserts the function for me. I don't need to go out to learn the syntax. A Copilot can do it for me. Here's another example where I've used Copilot to build a simple financial, uh, a financial model here where I'm asking it to help me with some growth calculations. Copilot can go and, and construct a dynamic array using let and sequence, which is a pretty sophisticated, sophisticated pattern. Again, these functions did not exist a few years ago. Copilot can help you with those. Another example using the same financial model, where can, Copilot can construct a, a, a function with scan and lambda, a lambda on the fly. Again, you don't have to learn the syntax. Copilot can help you. Now, another space that represents a big leap in the computational capabilities and the analytical power of Excel is the introduction of Python in Excel. And oh boy, we are excited about this, and our community is excited about this. Uh, bringing Python into Excel through Python in Excel brings the world of machine learning, data science, advanced statistics, predictive modeling, simulations, optimizations, and a whole set of really powerful visualizations into the hands of hundreds of millions of Excel users. And Python, historically, has been a really interesting topic for us as, we explore, as, we, as we've explored with our customers and partners and our community the pain points that our community has when they have to either work with both tools, like the same person, person working with both tools, or with, the, with someone collaborating with their colleagues that live and breathe in Python and they live and breathe in Excel. So we think there's a lot of opportunity, and this is a really exciting space. One example that I really love is now you can do Monte Carlo simulations directly within Excel. And in one of the demos later today, I'll show you how um, I got to that. I'm also happy to announce and share that Python and Excel is now available to every single M365 subscriber on the current channel and monthly enterprise on Windows. And we're working as fast as possible to, to, to expand to other platforms, Mac and Excel for the web. Now, let's explore for a second why the combination of bringing Python, Excel, and Copilot is so compelling. And let's do this from the perspective of two key personas, the, uh, the uh, analyst and the IT admin. Uh, for my analysts that live and breathe in Excel, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you directly, and I'm going to assume my analysts are on this side of the room, OK? I'm going to talk to you directly. So bringing Python and Excel um, allows you to access a whole set of really powerful Python libraries, including Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, Scikit-Learn, and more. Python and Excel has been built in a coherent and consistent way with the tools that you know and love today in Excel. Formulas, pivot tables, charts, Power Query. 
You can mix and match these tools all within the same workflow, all within the fa same familiarity of Excel. We didn't just slap Python into Excel. We built it deep into the fabric of Excel. Now, perhaps more importantly for you, there's nothing you need to install. There's nothing you need to set up. There's no dependencies you need to manage. It's just there. All you need to do is go into Excel, type equals PY, and the world of Python analytics will light up in front of you. Uh, and of course, of course, of course, you now have Copilot as well, right? And Copilot can help you take advantage and lock that power without needing to become a Python expert in the same way that you don't need to become an expert in the Excel form formula syntax. Now I'm going to talk, oh, I forgot my build. There's the build. I'm going to talk to my IT, IT friends now. I'm going to assume my IT friends are over in this side of the room. Uh, so for my IT friends, we've built security and compliance into the core of Python in Excel. And we've made some really tricky decisions, and we've had to make some tricky trade-offs, always, always, always prioritizing security. For example, our, the Python for Excel runs securely in the Microsoft Cloud as an M365 connected experience. Our distribution, our Python runtime, has no access to the network, uh, and it has no access to the local machine, and it runs in a sandbox. There's never any data at rest. Uh, our Python distribution is securely built and tested by our friends, our Anaconda. Some of them are here in the room. So you can trust that it is secured. And equally important to you, um, there's nothing you need to manage. There's, nothing, there's no distributions, no versioning, no additional licensing. It just works. This is likely the easiest way for you to empower your analysts with the best of Python analytics. All right. Before I jump into some demos, let's talk uh, for a minute about Copilot in Excel with Python, which is what Satya demoed earlier in the week. So Copilot in Excel uh, with Python is your gateway to leveraging Python in Excel. It is a dedicated mode of Copilot in Excel that has been specifically built for analytics. Uh, it enables a fluid conversational experience, uh, and it taps directly into the AI's inherent uh, code generation capabilities. Uh, and it, but it has been tuned and optimized for Python in Excel, of course. Um, now, the thing that's really interesting here is that it's not just static Python. It actually generates a, a durable, refreshable, verifiable, and editable Python artifact. And this is critical because this is an important design principle for us for all of Copilot in Excel. As Avani showed, you can insert formulas, you can insert pivot tables, you can insert charts, you now can insert Python in Excel, and all of it is editable, refreshable in the ways you would expect. And this is critical because we want to put the user in, at the center, the user needs to be in control, and the user needs to know exactly what the AI is doing. Um, let's jump into some demos. OK. So for my first demo here, uh, first, actually, a little story. Um, many years ago, before I joined the Excel product team, I used to work in corporate finance. And we did a lot of predictive modeling, a lot of forecasting, including Monte Carlo simulation. This is the, the screenshot I showed you earlier. Now, I, this was a while ago, but I believe we used some pretty expensive tools, separate uh, tools, uh, to, to do the, these forecasting. Uh, so let me show you how I can do that with a few simple prompts and Copilot in Excel and Python. In this workbook, I have uh, some, uh, on the left-hand side, I have this project that I'm trying to simulate the duration for. I have a list of uh, tasks, and I have the mean duration and the standard deviation for each of these. Um, then here on the right-hand side, I have uh, the Copilot in Excel experience with a few different entry points to the different things you can do, including an advanced analysis entry point that's your gateway to Python. Of course, you can get started with a prompt, and that's what I've done here. I'm asking Copilot to generate a Monte Carlo simulation, run 10,000 simulations, and give me a plot. Copilot is going to explain every step along the way. It's going to insert a new sheet. We refer to this as the analysis sheet. And it's going to create a plan and start automatically inserting the Python code. Um, at each step, it's going to explain what it's going to do. Uh, and it's going to keep processing the data. Here in a second, we'll see the explanation. So you get a, a, an explanation of the Monte Carlo simulation, and you get the distribution where I can see how long my project is going to last. Now, this is cool and all. This is already useful. But this is Excel, right? So of course, you can edit the Python. Of course, this is editable and verifiable and refreshable, as I mentioned, right? And perhaps more importantly, you can actually bind the Python code directly into the grid, as you always have for Excel formulas. So here you can see that the data is actually bound, and the iterations is, is bound as a, as a parameter in the formula. You can edit the code directly in the formula bar. And of course, you can build the types of reports and dashboards you've always built in Excel, where you can change the inputs. As I'm doing here, I'm changing the 1,000 to, to 50. And then the, the chart will update automatically. So I think it's pretty cool, like Monte Carlo simulation directly in Excel. 
Um, all right, for the next demo, let's switch gears a little bit here, and uh, let's pretend we work at an EV charger company. And I have a set of products here with revenue and units and spend, OK? Uh, and let's imagine I'm an analyst at this company. I'm trying to uh, decipher this data and get some insights, and I want to run some clustering. Similar pattern here. I'm going to start with a prompt asking a Copilot to cluster this data for me. It's going to insert an analysis sheet. It's going to come up with a plan. It's going to start generating the Python code for me. And it's going to start explaining each step. The first step that's going to happen here is it's going to use what is referred to as the elbow method. This sounds a little silly, but it's an actual analytical technique that's used to determine how many uh, clusters are needed. Um, once it has that, it can feed that output back into Copilot, and then it applies it for the next step. And then you get the clustering analysis. And this is actually using k-means. I just, I just need to pause here for a second, because this is actual legit machine learning in Excel, which I think is pretty cool again. Uh, now, thank you. Now, if you're like me, you're not a data scientist, right? But I love learning about data. I love learning new concepts. And you can actually use Copilot right here to, to, to learn, right? So I've asked Copilot, hey, help me learn what k-means is. Maybe you hadn't encountered that technique before. Um, and, and you can have a conversation and go deeper. And I'm so excited about just like, the potential of this improving the data literacy like, at, at a global scale, like Satya mentioned uh, earlier this week. Another area that Python is really powerful at um, is the world of visualizations. So with the same data set, um, I'm going to, with a few different prompts, I've been able to generate a few pretty cool com uh, compelling visuals. I have a violin plot, and I have a heat map, and I have a pair grid, and I have a, a set of network charts, and I have a multi-plot of histograms, even a word cloud, even a QR code if you want. All of this powered by Python, all of this enabled by Copilot. All right, for this last one, I want to share a little bit of an experiment, actually, that we, uh, that we are doing. This is work we're doing with the finance team at Microsoft. We love the finance team at Microsoft. They are our first and best co uh, customer. And this is actually work we're doing with the Xbox finance team. It's not all fun and games in the Xbox world. They actually have to report their financials as well. The data is, is, is dummy data, so don't, don't try to decipher any Xbox data from that. But the, what's important here is the pattern. Right? What we're trying to do with them is see how far we can push Excel, Copilot, and Python to automate parts of their uh, financial close uh, process, their monthly close. Every single finance team in the world has to do this every month. Right? They analyze the data in Excel, and then they have to generate PowerPoint decks that they present to their CFO and their leadership team explaining the business. Um, so what we're doing here is we've loaded some historical data into the workbook. We've loaded the current month's data. And we're asking Copilot, hey, can you analyze this data um, and help me create the narratives that I can then present to my executive team uh, in a PowerPoint deck? So let's see, I'll give it a second here. And you can see the, the verbatim, the narrative that's actually anchored on the numbers on the spreadsheet. Now, what's beautiful here is that this is an example of where it's a, it's a marriage of the calculations, but also the inherent NL processing capabilities of the, of the AI, right? So what you can do now is you can iterate on that. You can say, hey, make it more succinct. Make it, uh, make it more playful. Make it sound as if it's coming from the voice of my CFO. So, so, so we're, all seeing, we're already seeing great traction and feedback from the, from the finance team, and they're already experimenting and using this uh, on their end. Pretty cool, I think. All right, so I can, I can spend hours talking about the technical details of Excel and doing demos and like, talking about the value proposition. But the one thing that I am most excited about is the impact this is having with our community today already. And we have examples across the board, so many industries, so many cool posts online on LinkedIn and social media, across chemical industry and medicine and finance and insurance and manufacturing and physics. Um, but perhaps, perhaps the example that I am um, most inspired by is the work that we've been doing with our friends at KPMG. And I'm delighted to invite Tejas up here uh, to show the journey that they've been going on uh, in applying Python, Excel, and Copilot to transform the tax analytics business. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. <clears throat> Thank you, Carlos and Avni. This was amazing. What you guys are doing at Microsoft uh, and within Excel is simply electrifying. It's really great. Thank you. I'm really honored and privileged to be here today to share my story in terms of how we are building tax models 
using Python in a, a Python Excel and Copilot. So let's start. Quick introduction about myself. I'm a tax principal at KPMG. KPMG, for those who, who don't know, is a professional services firm. We operate in 140 countries, and we provide audit, tax, and advisory services for our clients. My team at KPMG specializes in building tech solutions to solve complex tax problems for our clients using data and automation. So let's dive into the world of tax. I know this is a tech conference and not a tax conference, <laughs> but because I come from the tax world, so I have to bring up this slide. So again, I'm going to stay high level at this. So we've got some new challenges coming in the tax world. The first one here is highlighting how there are some expiring provisions coming in 2025. What that means in simple terms is that there were some rules and logic that was applied in tax are going away. That means trillions of dollars of tax increases are, are going to impact businesses. And that means businesses will have to do a lot of scenario planning, a lot of number crunching, and a lot of data analysis between now and end of 2025. Right? Some of the other news are around the, uh, global tax reforms getting tougher which means companies like Microsoft and others who operate around the world will now have to pay a global minimum tax in other tax jurisdictions. And they'll, ha again, have to do a lot of math, a lot of number crunching and data analysis. So how do we tackle these tax challenges? It's simple. We build new solutions, solutions with connected data ecosystem. Empower our tax users and our finance users with tools that they are familiar with, they are user-friendly. And this is where Excel comes in. Excel is the most widely used tool, a powerful tool on the planet. And Excel has been and continues to remain a cornerstone for our tax transformation work. Since the dawn of desktop modeling era, tax has been using Excel for number crunching, data analysis, automations, and VBA. In 2012, Excel really rose as a Power BI uh, so, 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 sorry, as a BI powerhouse, right? With the introduction of technologies like Power Query, Power Pivot, Tax, we were able to push boundaries within Tax and go beyond one million rows that are there in Excel, right? And now fast forward to 2024, you've already seen all the stuff that Carlos and Avni just outlined. It's, Excel is once again supercharged with Python, Lambda, Copilot Analytics. I believe it's going to bring unprecedented levels of efficiency and time savings. So let's dive into some of these tax challenges that, that we've been trying to solve with this technology. So first example here I have is we have a complex tax model. We've got tons of formulas, complex formulas, as, as you can see. Lots of duplicated data, lots of uh, worksheets. And so what, what we did is we tried cleaning it up with Python. And the results were amazing. We were able to reduce or eliminate 90% of formulas and use range out of that model. The model became really light, lightweight, smaller in file size, and the performance was simply improved. Next example is around VBA. We had this 4,000 lines of VBA code that did the job for us. Right? It ran iterative calculations. And, and it, again, VBA is great. But again, because I was curious and I didn't know a lot about Python, so I just simply took the VBA code, fed it to Copilot and Gen AI, and out came the magic. I got 60 lines of Python code that gave me exactly the same output that the VBA had. And, and this was life transforming for me, at least, in terms of learning Python for the first time as well. And then the last example in the demo I'm going to show here is around Copilot-driven analytics that uh, Carlos just uh, demoed as well. So again, just to set context, right? Uh, companies like Microsoft and others who operate uh, around the world have a complex entity structures. They've got entities around the world which could be branches, subsidiaries, joint ventures, partnerships. And, and these, these entities create a unique challenge for the tax and the, and the legal teams. What they, uh, they have to do is to sort of draw up an org chart for these entity structures and, and sort of show that child and parent relationship with different ownership structures. And they often end up doing it in PowerPoint or Visio, and it's a painful task. Imagine any time there's an acquisition, an entity changes, they have to redraw all of those org charts again, right? So here, we've tried solving that problem. So I'm going to start the demo here. 
So again, using Power Query, first of all, we bring all the data into Excel. And using data frames in, in Python, we are able to put the data into Excel. Then we asked Copilot to simply read the data and analyze the data. And, and it magically created this data frame and also created this image that was generated by Copilot in terms of a base org structure. Then augmenting that with our standard Excel formulas and drop downs and what Carlos just showed in terms of how you can link the image and other things directly into Excel, we were able to sort of build more scenario capabilities. And now, as you can see, by just changing the drop downs, the image updates real time. So here you've got new entities, and the image is now going to update in, in real time right there, right? Not only this, we were also then able to sort of uh, be creative with Copilot and say, OK, now apply some of the tax shapes that tax and legal are used to uh, looking. And so here, again, Copilot was able to help us with generate these tax shapes. And some of them are pretty complex in terms of having a circle in a rectangle. <laughs> but yeah, so this was amazing for us. So in, again, in summary, I think Excel, Python, and Copilot is going to transform the way we do tax modeling at KPMG. We were able to simplify the complex, automate the tedious, and bring AI-powered analytics and insights for our clients. With that, I'm going to hand it back to Carlos. Thank you, Tejas. I am just so excited to see what your team builds with these tools going forward. Uh, to wrap up today, um, I was actually indeed paying attention on Monday. So I'm going to wrap up leaving you with a quote from, from, from Satya. What we're doing with Excel is perhaps one of my favorite things. What GitHub Copilot did for developers, Copilot and Excel will do for data analysis. And we really believe in this mission, the, the scale that Excel has in the world, and the opportunity these technologies bring, as I showed you, in improving data literacy and unblocking the powerful capabilities of the Excel platform and Python is, is really transformational. Thank you very much.